Hopefully you all can see the smoke coming out of that chimney. This auger is set at PID 7 right now. And it's about to come on. I'm timing it actually for my chart that I'm going to put at the end of the video. Should be another 10 seconds or so. There it is. Now we should get a little bit of an increase in smoke. And this seems backwards to me. And man, with this lighting, you may not be able to see it. Let me open the grill because I'm done with all my timings and tests. Hopefully that showed up on camera. All right, so basically the other videos that I posted, you know, I got this Pit Boss Austin XL Onyx series last week. It's got this particular controller on it with the PID setting from zero to seven. So you actually have eight settings. And I have two issues with this smoker right now. First one, is the fire pot is obviously right here in the middle so you have more heat in the center I knew that going into this and I did a little research before I bought it and there is a fix for that it's supposed to work quite well and basically it's just a horseshoe wide piece of metal that goes over the fire pot and it keeps the heat from coming straight up kind of deflects it off to the sides I looked into that. They do sell several versions. I'm not going to buy one. I'm going to make one out of some steel that I've got lying around. And if it doesn't work the way I want, I'll only be out a little bit of time. I'm not going to be out any dollars, so to speak. But what I'm going to do with mine is after I make this, I'm going to drill probably six holes in the top so a little heat can get to the center, but not as much as right now. And that's the first issue. The second issue is how much smoke the grill produces. So yesterday I started, tonight I'm finishing. I decided to go through all of the pids, zero through seven, time them to see how long it was between each pid. And I'll explain that more um, in a chart. Yeah, I'm actually gonna make a chart because I'm kind of hell-bent on getting this the way I want it. So I am pretty confident that the biggest reason for the lack of smoke is the fan. And this is like a forge fan. I mean, it's a lot of air. The fan never changes speeds. It's on constantly. So it's burning kind of hard. And it all depends on the amount of pellets that are in there as far as the temperature goes. At the lower pit, the time between auger movement is less than a minute. At the highest pit, it's over two minutes. So basically what's happening is it's adjusting the amount of pellets that is going into the fire pot. And less pellets, less heat, more pellets, more heat, of course. Now, everything that I know about fireplaces and, you know, charcoal and wood smokers is the more wood you have, the less air you have, the more smoke you get. Of course, you have a lower temperature, but that's how I like to start off everything that I smoke and cook. I like to get the smoke infused first and then increase the airflow, get the temperature up to where I want it and finish the cook. Can't do that so well with this because that fan just constantly forces so much air into that fire pot. It's, it's totally dependent upon the amount of pellets that are in there. So, it's an AC fan. There's not an easy way to adjust the speed. So I'm going to look into this and I may actually put some kind of an adjustable air block that I can maybe attach and I know I'm going to butcher up a brand new grill. Put some kind of a handle on that I can slide in and out and reduce the airflow. And just as a test, I probably won't butcher it up too, too bad, if at all, 
you know, initially, but if I can get something to work the way I want it to, then I'll make it permanent. But anyway, um, yeah, just just a quick video on on the uh, the heat issue and the smoke issue, and I'm going to post that chart, and y'all can uh, take a look, see what you think. If you have any ideas, suggestions, experiences, or if I'm way off base, just uh, post a comment, man. I'd love to hear from you guys what you've been through and what you may have done to cure this. And uh, yeah, today is. It's Wednesday already, and it is January 24th, 2024. So get ready for that chart, and we'll talk soon. Take care now.